we are planning to create series of tutorials on Pro Engineer. So first we will start with the sketcher. To start sketcher click on this new button. Then select sketch. Give the name to the file whatever you want. Then say OK. So in sketcher the first command is line. To create a line click on the line. Then click first start point. Then give the direction where you want to go. If you want to go horizontal, uh, H will be shown there. If you don't want horizontal line, you can go upward or downward. If you want a vertical line, a V will be shown there. So if I want to create a horizontal line, click second point. Then to come out of the command, double click the roller. So you have to, two times you have to press roller on mouse. To change the dimensions you have to double click and place the dimension whatever dimensions you want. It will zoom fit automatically. To remove this line just click first point and second point and press delete button on the keyboard. Suppose you can create a series of, a series of lines. Just keep on clicking the points in which in the desired direction you can track also the point then press roller two times to come out you can double click to change the dimension so first you have to create the shape and later on you have to give the dimension so during creation of dimension you don't have to worry about the during the creation of sketch you don't have to worry about the dimensions so at first you have to create the sketch and then give the dimension then to delete select and press delete button then next command is center line to create a center line click first button then click second point then create a vertical line again click first button uh, click then give second click and press roller or otherwise I want to create one more center line then press roller to come out so whenever you want to come out of any pro e command you have to press roller that you have to keep in mind here you can change the dimension for the gap between two center lines to create a circle here is the center and point circle just click the center point drag the circle outside so create as many circle as you want press roller then here you have to change the diameter and you have to give the desired diameter just double click and change the value then suppose uh, I want to create a line a tangent line so here line tangent is there click on that then it is saying select one atom then click on the circle and click on other circle so this T indicate that these lines are tangent to the circle then click uh, you can continue with this command still you want to come out of this command you have to press the roller then suppose I want to break this inner circle so for that there is a delete segment command is there click on delete segment and click on the arcs that you don't want or on the component that you want you can zoom the part by pressing roller towards user side and you can make zoom minus by pressing roller towards monitor side so in this way you can if you want to zoom fit you can press here refit so it will show the complete picture immediately then next command is uh, rectangle so before that we will just erase this so you can come out of this command by clicking on this button and again select and press delete then next command is rectangle to create a rectangle click first point click another point press roller then give the desired dimensions so in this way you can create rectangle then suppose there are some object is there for which I want to give dimensions manually suppose some dimensions are not there you can use undo also if some mistake happens you can undo you can use undo and redo both is available there Suppose I, uh, I want to create some object, so I have created 
this object now for this line there is no dimension so I want to create one dimension to create a dimension you have to go the here normal create defining dimension click on that then click on the line and just take your cursor away and press ruler so it will show the dimension and you can change the dimension also so in this way you can give dimension to anything you want by using this normal tool slant rectangle click on slant rectangle click first point then give the angle in which angle you want to create the slant rectangle then create second point press roller to come out then you can give the dimensions these are desired dimension if you want to give some angle then you have to create one center line horizontal center line with respect to that you can give the desired angle the next next is parallelogram to create a parallelogram click first point create an inclined line and click second point here you can give the angles give the desired dimension if you want to give more angle you have to place the center lines then next is circle there is concentric uh, concentric circles suppose i have some circles and i want to create some more concentric circles so click on concentric circles then select the circle to which you want your circle to be concentric take move your cursor outside and just click and press roller to come out and here you can press again roller to come out then here you can give the dimensions diameter for the remaining circles and next next is three point circle suppose uh, i have some triangle i want to create a triangle equilateral triangle so i will just create a triangle then i will give you can press on the text and you can pull the text anywhere you want if you want to arrange the dimensions then double click give the length what you want suppose i want to give angle between these two lines so for that i will go to dimension tool then select first line select second line then where you want uh, angle press roller, roller there then give the angle so for equilateral triangle the angle will be 60 degree press roller to come out again 60 degree then you can place the dimension where you want by holding down the first mouse button and dragging it so here the equilateral triangle is ready suppose i want to create a circle passing through these three midpoints of the line so here i will take three point then mid m indicate midpoint of the line then i will click the three midpoints here i want the tangent press ruler to come out so in this way you can create a circle passing through three points then same way you can also create circle using three tangents suppose i will erase this circle tangent to three lines so just click on the object to which you want tangent and in this way also you can create the circle then next is axis end ellipse click on the ellipse then give first endpoint of the horizontal axis or if you want a vertical axis go upward then give the second endpoint and press the third third point so in this way you have to press the three points and here you can change the dimension as per requirement then next is center and axis so here you can give the center point at first then give the second point then give third point and you can adjust the dimension as required so in first method you have to give two endpoints and in the other method you have to give the center point and other point then here is arc command three point arc press start point end point and adjust the radius press roller to come out here you can give the radius desired radius then next is concentric circle uh, concentric arcs 
और क्रिएटिंग कॉन्सेंट्रिक आर्क सिलेक्ट द एग्जिस्टिंग आर्क और सर्कल देन गिव द स्टार्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द आर्क देन गिव सेकेंड पॉइंट प्लीज रोलर और इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन क्रिएट मोर कॉन्सेंट्रिक आर्क एज मेनी एज यू वॉन्ट प्रेस रोलर टू कम आउट यू कैन एडजस्ट द रिस्पेक्टिव रेडियस सो इन दिस वे यू कैन क्रिएट कॉन्सेंट्रिक आर्क द नेक्स्ट इज सेंटर एंड एंड गिव द सेंटर पॉइंट गिव रेडियस पॉइंट द रेडियस पॉइंट विल बी द स्टार्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द आर्क गिव द सेकेंड पॉइंट एंड पॉइंट सो इन दिस वे यू कैन क्रिएट दिस आर्क then next is tritangent arc you can create arc tangent to three lines as we created the circle then next is conic arc give start point end point third point roller and you can adjust the parameters as per requirement so here we will start the second we will stop the second tutorial thanks for joining